Hi all, a very warm good morning to everyone. In this online module, we are going to open our Flamingo book, the chapter Rat Trap, and we'll see that what's there in this chapter. Hope you will enjoy this learning. Now, before starting the chapter, let's just talk about the author. So, the author is Selima Legroff. She was a Swedish writer whose stories have been translated into many languages. A universal theme runs through all of them. And this is the universal theme. Please underline this idea. A belief that the essential goodness in a human being can be awakened through understanding and love. This is a very important point and I want all of you to please write it in your notebooks. This story is set in the middle of mines of Sweden, which is rich in iron ore, which figures large in history and legends of that country. The story is told somewhat in the manner of fairy tale. Now, this is a stylistic feature that this is a fairy tale story. Lot of, lot of annotations are there. Please underline this word fairy tale. And the story upholds the belief that the essential goodness of a human being can be awakened through love and understanding. First important point. Second is it brings into focus the idea that the world is a rat trap. Now here we have to take care of one thing that this is a title and it is a symbolical reference that indicates that all the riches and joys and shelters and food that we get in this materialistic world are just like lucrative baits and they trap the mankind. They trap the mankind means we all are lost to gain these materialistic pleasure and at last we forget the main goal that is to give love and respect to one or one and all. So these two important points again in the story which is there uh, discussed by the author. Now about the title if we talk about it is a metaphorical title as I told you it's a symbolical reference it has a symbolical reference and it tells about human predicaments. Now very important word what do you mean by human predicaments? Human predicaments means human conditions situations that arises due to different kind of problems and how the person reacts in those situations. So this is again very important and human beings are likely to fail into the trap of materialistic benefits. When we talk about the settings now, see the word settings here. What do you mean by settings? The story is set in that particular atmosphere uh, where the Sweden rich iron ore uh, is very much there and the story is told in the manner of fairy tale. Now let's talk about the synopsis, the small gist. The story begins like a fairy tale. The central character is a beggar. Underline this word beggar. You will find lot of synonyms for this word in the chapter. Like we have peddler. Then we have trot. Okay. So vagabond. So many synonyms are there. I want you to underline it while reading. And use it differently in your answers. So this will give you the more uh, clarity when you read the chapter fully. And a pity thief, this is a very poor thief who goes about selling rat traps of wire to make small living. So this was, her, uh, this was his livelihood, uh, livelihood source. This is what uh, he do and uh, he gets his earnings. He finds it difficult to make both ends meet. It makes him reflect about his own condition and the world at large. So when he sees that particular rat trap, he thinks that he's lost somewhere in this world. He fancies, he dreams that the whole world is nothing but a big rat trap. So here we will find the poor peddler to become a little philosophical and telling the bitter truth of life that life is nothing but a, a you know bunch full of baits that traps you in the world that is a rat trap. Again it offers the world offers rich and varied baits to people who bite on them and get trapped in the rat trap. The storyline unfolds gradually with the various baits being offered to the beggar. 
So now there are different forms of baits. Money, then lust, love and offerings, different kinds of offerings. The old man that the tramp, now the other word for peddler is tramp. Tramp meets is generous with the hospitality but the bait of the three ten runner bills is enough to tempt him. So one day when he was going, he met the crofter. He stayed there with the crofter and there the crofter had how many runners? Ten runner. So he thought to steal it and he stole those ten runners. Runner is a currency. So again there is a reference, a very important reference in your chapter. I want you to read it and underline it. Uh, you will find that how he ran away and who was crafter. Crafter was offering some meal to him, some porridge to him and played cards uh, and games with him and shared lot of things with him about his personal life. So here we will find a nice uh, gesture of crafter for peddler but peddler in return actually stole money and went away. Next at the uh, iron works uh, while seeking shelter for the night the tramp buys the bait offered to him by the owner the iron master of mistaken identity. Now again here he met with Idla, the iron master's daughter. She offers uh, him uh, the clothes and food and there was a, a Christmas coming up there and she invited him in a Christmas Eve. And this is how the whole sequence uh, goes in this chapter. Now when we conclude, how we can conclude in short, finally the bitter truth uh, dawns on the host. Idla is downcast when she learns that the peddler is a thief. At the end we will find that Idla learns the truth. She uh, got to know the real identity of poor peddler and tramp. The tramp undergoes a change of heart after experiencing her kindness and love. He returns the stolen money and writes a letter to her thanking her for helping him escape the red trap. Now this is the transformation of a poor peddler into a good gentleman and he attains nobility of spirit and becomes Captain Wansdale. So when he signed the letter, he wrote a letter to Idla at last and he signed it as Captain Wansdale because he wanted to possess this particular identity for his life and the story ends with the victory of human goodness. Now this is how the chapter ends up where we will see that the essential goodness in human being can be evoked only by love. Now we can see the main points. Point number one. The rat trap is a story that underlines a belief that essential goodness arouses sympathy, understanding and love that can be arose through sympathy understanding and love once a man went around selling a small rat trap he took to begging and thievery to keep his body and soul together one day when he was going he saw uh, he saw a dream or a fantasy where he saw that the whole world was nothing but a big rat trap People let themselves be tempted to this, uh, this and get into it. One dark evening, the rat trap peddler sought shelter in the old crofter's roadside cottage. The old man gave him food, tobacco and enjoyed the game, card game too. Next morning, when the peddler stole away his 30 runners, it is 30 runners and the rat trap peddlers escaped there into a big confusing forest and got lost. While resting on the ground, he recollected his idea that the world is rat trap. Again, that particular image was created by the author in the middle of the lesson. When we read it, we will find it. Hearing a thumping sound, he reached the ironworks, Ramjo's ironworks for a night shelter. 
Now the owner came on the night, nightly rounds and noticed the ragged and torn person near the furnace. He took him as an old acquaintance. He mistook him. He thought that he was his old friend, Nils Ulf. He invited him for a Christmas and stranger declined the offer. His daughter Idla Wilson persuaded to go home with him. She requested him to stay for Christmas Eve only. On his way to Manor House, the peddler thought that he had thrown himself into the lion's den 17. The next day in broad daylight, the Iron Master realized the stranger was not captain and threatened to call the sheriff. Edla pleaded for him and asked him to stay back. Christmas Eve at Ramjo was at usual and the stranger slept and slept. She made him understand that if he wanted to rest and peace, he would be welcome next Christmas also. This had a miraculous effect on him. Next morning, they went for early church services, leaving behind the guest who was asleep. They learned at church that the rat trap peddler was a robber, uh, was a robber who robbed old crofter. Edla became very upset. They reached home immediately and learned that peddler had already left but had not taken anything at all with him. Instead, he wrote a letter to Edla, a young girl, and gave her a Christmas present. In the Christmas present, he returned that 30 wrinkled 10 runner notes and also wrote a fine letter with a request to return the runners to the crofter. So this emotional ending of a chapter, Rat Trap. Hope you enjoyed the learning. I want all of you to please take down the notes according to this video.